Hey everyone, so I wanted to make this quick video because the new Memory of Chaos came for patch 1.3 of Star Rail came out and I believe Asia server and maybe EU server, but definitely not NA server, uh, still a couple hours away and I can't physically show you right now because it hasn't reset, but Hoyoverse changed MOC 9 and 10 uh, in a way that I believe it's really meta-defining and meta-changing. Uh, with Don Hung's release, people have been talking about, oh, he's the new best DPS and how that's meta-changing, but I believe this change that they didn't even mention in their patch notes is even more meta -fine. like actually meta change it because it affects almost every single character in the game. So just to show you, these are the patch notes. If I just control F memory of chaos or like memory, the only thing that shows up are the turbulences and various bug fixes. They don't mention any specific change that we are seeing in the new MOC right now. So what is that change? If we look at the previous 1.2 MOC, the one with Kafka and the huge robot, uh, I'm gonna be using, on a side note, uh, using Zeto Genshin, he just uploaded, he also uploads MOC showcases, so feel free to check him out. But as an example, this was the M uh, MOC previously, and it's win with at least 20 cycles, and the amount of cycles you get is 40. So since there's two halves, we typically split it into you should clear the first half in 10 and the second half in 10 and that makes sense right but now if we look at the new moc we can see that there's uh the don chu mage ca character and then yan Qing, right but now you can see it's not 10 and 20 anymore it's 6 and 14 and then if we just scroll uh past a little bit here it's 30 cycles uh that you have so if we just do 30 minus 14 that's 16 cycles so 16 divided by two halves is eight cycles of each so instead of 10 10 we have 8 8. and also if we just look at the previous moc we know that uh as you see battle start one to three there's always three ways we have a trash wave and then uh the second wave is the elite wave and then the last wave is like the big boss also another elite maybe two elites right but then if we go into this new MSC really quickly we can see that uh if we go to battle start it's battle start one out of two so instead of three waves now we have two waves and you can see that the first wave already has an elite so there's no trash mob wave anymore and then you can see that the second wave is just two elites and it's just the same as the uh, second half but this time this would be two uh this like first wave two elites and then the uh second wave was just the yan chain so why does this make big of a difference well for the first part since it's 8 8 and versus 10 10 we literally just have less cycles to clear the content now granted we do have one less extra wave to go but just to visualize it if we look at the previous uh mocs we have three waves so we have one wave one wave two wave three the typical split would be to zero cycle this four cycle the, the second wave and then uh six cycle the third waves so we would still have 10 cycles because the first uh wave is typically a zero cycle but now if we look at the new MSC where we have just one wave and two wave there is no zero cycle that we can uh that we can rely on to kind of save our cycles we have to do these two in eight cycles because the limit is 16 before you can't floor clear and there's two wave so this is going to be eight versus ten so obviously eight is less than ten it's going to it's, it's going to be a stricter time requirement but it's not just the amount of uh, cycles that we have to clear one of the biggest changes is how we build for specific speed breakpoints so i'm going to bring up the speed table uh you've probably seen this before and how maybe like there are different content creators or guides that recommend specific breakpoints and how different breakpoints gives you uh, specific actions on a on a specific cycle so for example 134 commonly gives you an extra action on the first cycle which is the zero cycle uh, but it could also give you an extra cycle uh, action action if you end on uh, the third cycle or the sixth cycle now the thing about this is that many people pretty much interpret the speed table wrong uh, i'll probably make a separate video on misconceptions on speed and how it in some ways is overrated but just to stick on how that new moc changes affect speed for one instance there is no trash mob wave that we daily uh, want to clear in zero cycles because there is just no trash mob wave anymore so in a sense there is less incentive to build for this 134 speed breakpoint that a lot of people recommend now it does give you uh, an extra action if you end on the third cycle but like i said there is less incentive because there is no trash mob wave anymore in addition people usually build for different speed breakpoints because they want to gain an extra action by after ending on a specific cycle however uh because of how waves work and how that changes 
this how that changes the cycle it actually decreases the amount of actions that we can get extra actions that we can get from building a specific speed breakpoint so i'll try to explain how that means really quickly so how waves and like av works is that it actually resets every single time you start a new wave so for example in the old moc in the old moc it's 10 cycles right but you don't actually go to the table and look for 10 cycles why because every single time you start a new wave it goes back to the zero cycle so for example if you cleared uh wave one in let's just say two cycles right when you start the second wave it's going to start at zero again it's not going to continue from two three four like that just to visualize it at the speed table let's just say you clear the again uh clear the first wave in two cycles which is like here zero cycle then the first cycle you're not when, when you start the next wave you're not going to just continue on and follow this table you're going to go back to this column right here every time single time you st uh, start a wave so let's just say hypothetically we are comparing uh 134 and 130 speed okay and we have three waves let's just say on the first wave you clear on the third cycle 134 speed compared to 130 speed uh you'll get one extra action as you see in the table because 134 speed gives you six actions 130 speed will only give you five because you don't reach that break point so then you finish that wave then the second wave starts you go back to zero you do it again clear on the third cycle hypothetically just as an example again if you had 134 speed you gain an extra action as compared if you had less than 134 speed, 130 speed and then on wave three that happens again once again another action so in that specific scenario, you've gained three actions because of those three waves. So each wave gives you a potential of one extra action when you build for a specific breakpoint. But now, since there are only two waves, you can only get a potential of two extra actions on a character. Now, building for speed breakpoints, whether or not I agree that you should specifically build for ending on a specific cycle, because you only get an extra action if you end on a specific cycle you don't just randomly gain extra actions as you go through the cycles that's a whole nother top topic about uh like whether or not you should really focus on breakpoints or not but the bottom line is building for specific breakpoints is much less valued because there's only two waves and the second thing is that in the case that we are optimizing for specific breakpoints it completely changes which breakpoints we're going for and uh, I'm just going to go to the paint real quickly. Remember, in the old MSC, there are 10 cycles. 10 cycles. And the typical split is 0, 4, 6. So if you go to the table, you would, if you're going to optimize for that whole 10 cycles and you needed to use all those 10 cycles, you would typically do the 0, 4, 6 split because the final wave is harder, right? So then you would look at the breakpoints and see, oh, what do I need if I end on cycle four and cycle six on those specific waves and cycle zero for the trash wave to gain an extra cycle but now since there's only two waves and there's two least for each wave the typical split i predict would probably be three five maybe two six but that's probably less common but three five because it's going to be a total of eight cycles and again the second wave is usually the more difficult one so if we optimize for three five then we have to look, okay well now we have to look at the different the, the, the different column we have to look at this column and this column and we see that 134 is on the three cycle so it's not uh, that like useless now because there is no need to zero cycle uh, the first wave in like general content not speed runs of course but uh it really changes what speed breakpoints we're aiming for if we want to optimize the whole length uh limit that we need and again, the reason this is so meta-defining is because every character uses speed. Every character may want you may want to build every character for a specific speed break, speed breakpoint. So changing the cycle number for from ten to eight in the hardest content in the game. So the, remember, memory of chaos nine and ten is the hardest content in the game. So typically, we are building our characters for that specific content. So since the old one was like four and six, now it's three to five. Now we have just have to it basically potentially changes how we build almost all of our characters if we're sp building for specific breakpoints now again building for specific breakpoints whether or not i agree with that eh, but the change is there and lastly another big change that this change in uh cycle number for the msc 9 and 10 will have is damage calculation so for example kqm is typically one of the more reliable uh theory crafting 
hubs of Honkai Star Rail. Um, and if we just look at their individual lunate sheet, they calculate their damage and all the comparisons with 10 cycles. And when you say 10 cycles, 50% energy simulate MOC. They simulate MOC. Now, I'm not in, like a real theory crafter myself. I do consume theory crafting content, but I wouldn't consider myself a theory crafter doing all the calculations. So I don't exactly know how like the exact details and the nitty gritty of their calculations but we can look at their assumptions and just by reading the discord they typically have 10 cycles or 1050 av now they simulate moc 10 for the 10 cycles but now it's eight cycles so now they're gonna have to change their assumptions to eight cycles or probably eight which is probably gonna be 850 av so they literally have to go through all of their past calcs change it to eight cycles and it's going to change their entire calculations for uh, for characters now this may or may not change uh damage comparisons uh wildly because ev like everyone uses the baseline 10 cycles or 1050 av so if everyone changes to like 850 for example there's minus 200 which minus 200 av which is minus two cycles there probably won't be a huge difference when comparing like for example light cones or like uh the strengths of between different characters but the fact that just a slight cycle change will force people to recalculate everything is pretty huge so in conclusion hoyoverse changed moc 9 and 10 without even mentioning in their patch notes by reducing the amount of cycles that uh that we have to clear moc 9 and 10 so it's number one shorter but number two even more importantly it changes the ideal speed breakpoints that you would build for if you're going to optimize for the whole entire cycle so instead of a zero four and six split for a 10 cycle you would likely look at a three five split if we're optimizing for speed breakpoints in addition because there's only two ways instead of three ways the amount of potential extra actions from building speed is one fewer and with the removal of the trash wave i would argue that some Breakpoints such as this 134 is less incentivized. And because the cycle change is for the hardest content of the game currently, which is generally what most people are building for, we're gonna have to change which speed values we would want to look for and build for if we're going for those specific breakpoints. And that's way more meta defining and meta changing than the release of a new character because it affects every single character in the game because every character's turns is affected by speed. And lastly, because of the shift from 10 to eight, damage calculations from from for example kqm are going to have to shift because they simulate moc and assume 10 cycles or 1050 av but because it is now eight cycles damage calcs are going to change albeit since it's eight cycles it may favor different speed values because it's eight cycles now but i would predict the overall calcs and comparisons aren't going to change that much since all the calcs are going to change to a potentially 850 av or eight cycles but all the cocks are going to have to change nevertheless because the assumptions have changed which is huge as for my own thoughts about this change i'm not that surprised as i've been expecting this change uh but i wanted to wait until it was released on the actual server just to be sure and now that it is released on the actual video i'm safe to make this video so i think it's it is definitely an interesting change. Uh, it definitely makes it shorter, so I don't have to slog through a trash mob wave. So I like it in that sense because it's just less gameplay time. I don't have to go through a, a trash mob wave every single time I go through MOC 10. But overall, this change does make it harder. Like I said, it just subtracts two cycles from each wave, so a total of four cycles, so you just have less time. And I'm welcome to harder changes because these previous MOCs They've been pretty easy considering if I just take a look at how many cycles I have left, I have a lot of cycles left. So for me, I don't think it'll change much. So I definitely enjoy the challenge. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Huge change from Hoyoverse. And I'm excited to try out the new MSC changes when it comes out live on NA.